There is a new Senate report that was released today. It shows that hackers broke into U.S. military transportation companies 20 times in a single year. The government has been ramping up its spending on cybersecurity. The Department of Defense allocating about a half a billion, 447 million to fight this growing threat. So who stands to profit here with three under the radar plays? Jeff Reeves, InvestorPlace.com. Editor, who's here in New York? Good, Good to, to see you, you my friend. Um, first of all, I know that this is Visa and MasterCard that put out the warnings. I'm surprised that American Express isn't included there. They, my impression is that they're a lot better at cybersecurity than Visa or MasterCard. Is that, is that a right impression or wrong? Well, I, I, it could be, but right or wrong, I mean, the bottom line is, especially for the cybersecurity industry, even if they're better, they're probably spending a heck of a lot more money and they have a really expensive system that they're putting in place. So as an investor, uh, I think the opportunity is not just from the hacking, but again, remember, there's always threats that are out there that we don't even see. And so uh, there's a lot of companies out there that are really good at this. And if we don't see it, that doesn't mean you can't make money off of well, it. Well, you know? there are a lot of obvious companies and then there are the under the radar names, which you've done the digging for us and we want to know about why you pick these names as the opportunity as the trade to make the investment and they will return if you own these stocks. Yeah, that's right. I mean, there's a lot of chatter in this space. So there's three big reasons that I like cybersecurity. Number one is the defense, throwing of defense numbers that you just threw out. It's up 135% over the previous year. Um, there's also uh, the obvious threat that we have from like the Home Depots and the targets of the world that have their breaches. But beyond that, there's also kind of a little bit of a buyout premium in there. Cisco bought Sourcefire for almost $3 billion and the entire space kind of has a little bit of a tailwind, some optimism behind it. So I think that there's a lot of room to run there, especially for smaller companies that can grow into this space. The bigger ones like Cisco, obviously they have a way to play cybersecurity, but if you want a pure play, uh, these three companies so are ways let's to do get, that. So let's get right to it. Palo Alto Networks, why do you like them? Well, they actually just had a uh, kind of a patent dispute with Juniper uh, that has been resolved favorably. Uh, the company's seeing big growth. Uh, they saw 50% revenue growth last year. Again, this is a smaller company, but they have zero debt and they have a bunch of cash on the books. So if you really want to get on the ground floor, it's a little more volatile, but it has outperformed very nicely year to date. Uh, if you want one of these small cybersecurity Cybersecurity up 72% year yeah, to date. Smaller means more room to run in this space. Yeah, and over the past year, up 106%. The price to earnings ratio is at about 71. So it's a little rich, but we were just out of Greylock Partners in Silicon Valley, and those are the venture capitalists that got this thing up off the ground. They're smart people. They believe in Palo Alto Networks. But what specifically does PANW really do that's, that differentiates itself from everybody else in the space? Well, Palo Alto Networks in particular has, has really strong earnings, uh, and I believe it was them who CEO went out and said that they have big contracts in particular that they're moving into. So as a smaller company, if you make bigger contracts, half a million dollars or, or half a billion dollars or larger, that's it good. moves your stock in a hurry. And so it's not just getting smaller companies, small businesses, that's important. There's growth there. But being able to net that big fish lets you to, to climb up the ladder and get to the next level. Checkpoint software technologies. Yeah, I like it. I, I like Checkpoint a lot. Um, they're another one of these companies where, again, you just have the secular tailwind behind it. But Checkpoint uh, actually has one of the, the better valuations of the space, not quite the nosebleed valuation. Some of these other ones you pay. It a hasn't gone up that much year to date. Yeah, 9%. So, so the growth is a little more modest, but the valuation is more modest too. It's actually 17.5, which is less than the Nasdaq right now. So if you're worried about buying a cybersecurity uh, company and maybe buying a top, the valuation is much fairer in this. Zero debt, 900 million dollars in cash. So if you want a, kind of a, a more stable and larger company that's mm. still focused on cybersecurity is a good balance of, of, of growth, but also a fair valuation. And, and then you have Fortinet, which has, has had a very nice move, too over the past year and year to date. Yeah, Fortinet's another big player that's out there. Uh, and again, all three of these companies, the reason I like them is they have a lot of cash on the book and zero debt, which, which can't be overstated. Uh, and I think that Fortinet's another one of these companies that has seen really good earnings, really good uh, tailwind to its growth uh, over the past couple of years. And that's only going to continue as we go forward, especially with the bigger clients. And like you said, American Express, whether it's Target or Home Depot, uh, there's a lot of money to be had. Uh, I think that Cisco and other bigger players, they might be a little bit of a threat. But if you want to focus play and you're okay with a little more volatility, then one of these three stocks should by the way, well. you know why American, a lot of people prefer American Express? Because there's more personal interaction with a guy. You call up uh, Visa and MasterCard, you usually get a recording or sent to somebody else. American Express, they, they deal with you pretty carefully if you have any concerns about cybersecurity. H highest satisfaction from J.D. Power and Associates, and exactly. that's for a reason. Customers are satisfied. Jeff, good to see you. Thanks. We have, we have high satisfaction with you, Jeff. Thank I thought you owed me dinner. Didn't you owe me dinner? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's about global cooling. we got to talk uh, about global cool. I was going to bring you a sweater for the, all the global cooling going Thank on. You. Good to see you, Jeff.